just about an inch and a quarter wide. So, I cut some stock just a hair thicker than our, our bird's bodies need to be with a nice crisp corner. Use this as a guide to cut out the parts and to cut the groove into which the head and neck ride. And so I'm going to cut out this pattern here. And I need to leave this dotted line. Oh, oh. You use that good line as a guide so I can fold it right there. And now I can stick it down. Make sure that crease rides right on the corner. So let's get that in place, then stick the rest of it down. And again, I'm going to make sure the crease sits nicely on the corner. Then stick the rest of the paper down. But we either need to cut a quarter inch wide groove to this dotted line. So I'm going to shift my fence over to it. Dip our fence over just a little bit and do a final pass. And here's our groove. That's cut just a hair over a quarter inch wide, and that's actually exactly how we want it to be. Now it's time to drill a pair of, of holes into each bird body. One is a hole which goes all the way through into which I'll insert a, a rod that acts as a pivot point for our bird's head. Usually I'll use the bamboo skewers. So in this case, the contest rules state that all wood used has got to come from the same 8 foot construction grade 2 by 4 So instead of our skewer, I'll use a, a length of this galvanized steel rod to act as each bird's pivot point. And also, the need to drill a 3 16th inch hole to the depth indicated by this broken line. Those holes are all drilled at the drill press, so let's head there now. I drilled a test hole to make sure that the bit I have in the drill press is the correct size. And it is the exact size that I need. Hmm. So upon drilling that hole, but one of them kind of tore out on me. If you can see that there, tore out there, and it tore out there. Of course, I've already cut them out now, but what I should have done was glue on the pattern, then drill the, the, these holes out, then cut the notch or groove, and then saw them out and sand them, of course, and then drill the, these holes. And in fact, that's the way I did on these birds. All right.
here's my replacement piece, so I can toss the, the, this one in the scrap bin and move on. You couldn't glue them on. I'll just trace it in this case. And these patterns are being transferred to the bottom of our bird. Nobody knows the pine birds that I've sanded. Nobody knows my hand cramps. Nobody knows if these will be chickens or pigeons. And nobody, nobody cares. Stay tuned for part three covering chicken heads, dowels, and chicken assembly. Remember, if you ever need to start a chicken farm, just get a cock and pull it. And until next time, thanks for watching.